Hello and welcome to another Spruce and Bruise unboxing. Today we are having a look at the Ironhead Squat Prospectors Vartian Exo Drill for Necromunda. So first of all, I want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us this uh, free copy a little early to have a look at and review with you guys. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, the brute for the squat uh, gang for Necromunda. It's really cool. I think it's 250 credits, and yeah, it's a bit of a beast. It's got like sensor rigs that can be used when you've got um, kind of scouting enemies and. You can take a heavy flamer or a heavy bolter off the top of my head. So what we're going to do is crack this open, have a look at all the components, and then hopefully we'll cut to the future and have an assembled uh, and painted, hopefully, one to show you what it looks like. So let's crack this open and have a look what is inside. And here's a look at the components. So let's have a nosy at all the bits. And it does look a really nice kit. Obviously, we've got the uh, the leagues of Otan come in for uh, 40k, but these are the Necromunda ones, are, I guess, uh, proper proper squats in the kind of style that we've seen from the other um, hangers on and hired guns. And yeah, these are really cool. So you do have a choice of two different weapon options: so the heavy bolter and the flamer. And looking at the pieces. Can't imagine it being too difficult to make these modular, whether they just fit in with, you know, resistance, or if you could get some magnets on there. Uh, we'll have a play with the assembled model, but I reckon you can probably make those quite modular, so that's good. Uh, we've got some piping and stuff on the back of it. Yeah, these are, this is a really cool kit. So hopefully, um, by the time this video comes out as well, we'll know if there's any more um, squat things coming for Necromunda. Obviously we've got the uh, the basic gang and this guy in the book of the Outlands. So I'm kind of hoping in the book that follows that, which may have already been announced by the time that this video goes out, um, that we'll see some more stuff for the squats. I'd really like to see a unique squat vehicle. And the fact that they have a kind of a specific crew that squats can take makes me think that they might get one so that's that's some hope at least uh, and then we get the power claw I guess it is and then one of those claws has just come off the uh, the frame there so if you've not built any forge models before just bear in mind that um, they, they do have a release agent on them to kind of help them pop out of the mold so just give them a good wash in soapy water and uh, yeah, once you've done that, the paint should adhere to it properly. So, let's have a quick look at this. It's it's going to be fairly easy to put together. It's not got that many pieces. The most uh, complex bit, really, is probably those uh, power cables sneaking around the back of it. But um, yeah, this this certainly isn't going to be difficult to build. And you've got the option for the two, two weapons there. You also get like a basic version of the uh, the rules for this thing as well. Though I will say that the full rules are in Book of the Outlands as well. Uh, we did a review of that a couple of weeks ago. So what I'll do, I'll link in that video here. Um, and we've also done an unboxing of the plastic squats too. But yeah, without further ado, let's skip to the future when this thing is assembled and hopefully painted. And here's a look at the finished exosuit. And I've got to say, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. So uh, Jay has painted this up to match the um, the squat prospectors that he uh, painted up for the, using the plastic kit. Um, he's kind of like inverted the colour scheme, and yeah, it is really cool. He's gone f um, decided not to magnetise it in the end, but I think it would be very very easy to do. So uh, yeah, it should be fairly simple to make this. Um, customizable for the weapon you can either put some magnets inside the wrist there or even just a pin and slot it on and off like I did with the uh, the modular avatar that we did so yeah really really cool and um, I'm looking forward to seeing if the squats get any more stuff added for um, Necromunda in the future I'd love them to get a vehicle I think that'd be really cool for them to have. I'd also um, like to see some squat specific hangers on and crews that can be used on another vehicle and that kind of stuff. Um, the fact that there is a dedicated squat crew 
in their list to me kind of implies that they're going to get some kind of dedicated vehicle to stick them in so that's pretty cool to have uh, likewise we've got the mounted rules as well so we could see some cool like squat trikes and stuff as well using the the generic um bike profile out of the book too so that'd be really fun to have uh, but yeah this this is definitely cool and um, it is currently up for pre-order now so um yeah by the time this goes out you'll be able to order this which is which is really cool so yeah so yeah if you've enjoyed this video uh, why not give us a, a follow we've got loads of unboxings and uh, that kind of thing on here uh, over on the website as well spruceandbrews.com i do have a companion piece for this as well where i've got some photos and some uh, pictures of all the parts and a bit of a write-up as well so if you're internet come on to check that out and like i say we have got recent reviews of the plastic uh, iron head squat prospectors kit and the uh, Book of the Outlands supplement book for Necromunda as well. So, yeah, exciting times for Necromunda. Really good time to get into a campaign as well. And a nice new gang to use if you want to do start on that. So, yeah, until next time, have a brilliant weekend. And we'll see you next time.